Hi B's controversial strategy, the fallout from Taehyung's dating rumors. The K-pop industry is no stranger to scandal and controversy, but a recent leak from within HYBE has taken things to a whole new level. The leaked internal report revealed a speculated strategy involving BTS's Taehyung V and his rumored relationship with Blackpink Sings Jenny. According to South Korean media outlet Sports Trends, this rumor was not merely a matter of speculation or gossip. Rather, it was allegedly a calculated move by HYBE to divert attention away from the other BTS members, allowing them to navigate their personal lives with more privacy. The implications of this document are staggering. It paints a picture of a company willing to use its artists' personal lives as pawns in a larger game of media manipulation. The report was made public during a National Assembly audit, which has left fans and the public outraged. It included comments about various idols and groups, not just those under the HYBE umbrella, and suggested that executives viewed Taehyung's dating rumors as an opportunity to shield the other BTS members from intense scrutiny. The reaction from fans, outrage and heartbreak. As news of this report spread, social media erupted with outrage. Fans expressed their dismay over what they perceived as the exploitation of Taehyung's personal life for corporate gain. One user on X, formerly Twitter, at Icon of V, voiced a sentiment shared by many. They used Tay so that other members can do whatever they want and we know who those members are. This is a new low. God, protect Tay. Others echoed this sentiment, expressing frustration at the apparent double standards in how the company treats its artists. One user lamented, I can't get over this, using Tay as a shield instead of promoting an environment where all members are normal humans and can do normal stuff like dating. The idea that Hybe would resort to using Taeyung as a scapegoat has left many fans feeling betrayed. Fans have also called for a formal apology from Hybe, demanding accountability for what they view as a grave misuse of an artist's personal life. Comments such as, Taehyung seriously deserves better and freedom from HYBE have become common in discussions surrounding the issue. The overwhelming sentiment among fans is that the company needs to acknowledge the pain and frustration this situation has caused. HYBE's defense, a monitoring report? In response to the backlash, HYBE has defended the leaked document, claiming it was simply a monitoring report and not an official stance of the company. They assert that the report was meant for internal purposes only, but this explanation has done little to quell the anger of the K-pop community. Many fans remain unconvinced, viewing the document as further evidence of the company's exploitative practices. Kim Taeho, the CEO of Hybe and CEO of its subsidiary Belift Lab, represented the company during the questioning at the National Assembly audit. While he defended the document's content, it is clear that the damage has already been done. The leak has sparked intense debates around the treatment of artists in the K-pop industry, raising questions about how personal relationships are handled and the broader implications for all idols under the HYBE label. Unpacking the internal report, what it reveals. The internal report not only mentioned Taehyung, but also included harsh comments on the appearances of various young idols and concerns about bulk album buying tactics. The mention of alleged plagiarism by Hybe sublabels further illustrates the cutthroat nature of the industry. This level of scrutiny on idols, particularly in such a public forum, has raised serious ethical questions about the standards and practices within the company. As fans digest the details from this report, the discussion has expanded beyond just Taehyung. It has become a broader critique of how K-pop idols are commodified and how their lives are often dissected in the public eye. Fans are increasingly calling for a shift in how companies treat their artists, advocating for respect and recognition of their humanity beyond their public personas, the broader implications for K-pop and artist privacy. The revelations surrounding HYBE's internal strategies raise important questions about the future of K-pop and artist privacy. The industry's relentless focus on idols' personal lives, combined with the pressure to maintain a certain image, can take a toll on artists' mental health and overall well-being. Fans are beginning to push back against these norms, advocating for a more compassionate approach that allows idols to live their lives authentically. The backlash against Hybe's actions 
reflects a growing awareness among fans of the ethical implications of the K-pop industry. Many are calling for greater transparency from entertainment companies and for artists to have more control over their narratives. The idea that an idol's personal life can be used as a strategic tool for media manipulation is increasingly seen as unacceptable. Moving forward, what fans want to see. As the dust begins to settle from this controversy, fans are left contemplating what they want from HYBE and the K-pop industry at large. Many are demanding a formal acknowledgement of the issues raised by the leaked report, as well as a commitment to respecting the privacy and personal lives of artists like Taehyung. Calls for change are resonating across social media platforms, with fans expressing a desire for a more equitable industry. They want to see policies put in place that protect idols from being used as scapegoats and ensure that their personal lives remain just that personal. The sentiment is clear. Fans want to support their idols without feeling complicit in a system that exploits their lives for profit. The path ahead, can change happen? The question remains, can the K-pop industry adapt to the growing demands for change? As fans continue to rally around Taehyung and advocate for greater respect for artists' personal lives, it will be interesting to see how HYBE and other companies respond. The backlash could serve as a catalyst for much-needed reform within the industry, leading to a more humane approach to idol management. While the future remains uncertain, one thing is clear. The voices of fans are becoming increasingly powerful. Their willingness to stand up against perceived injustices will continue to shape the landscape of K-pop. The hope is that, with enough pressure, companies like HYBE will be forced to reevaluate their practices and prioritize the well-being of their artists over corporate strategies. Conclusion a call for change. As this situation continues to unfold, it is crucial for the K-pop community to remain vigilant and vocal. The backlash against HYBE is not just about Taehyung. It is about the treatment of all idols and the recognition of their humanity. Fans have the power to affect change, and their voices are being heard louder than ever before. As they rally around Taehyung, they are also calling for a future where K-pop idols can live their lives freely and authentically, without fear of being used as pawns in a corporate game. In the end, this controversy serves as a reminder of the responsibility that comes with fame and the need for compassion in an industry often driven by profit. Let's hope that the lessons learned from this situation lead to a more respectful and supportive environment for all artists in the K-pop industry. As the controversy surrounding HYBE and BTS Taehyung unfolds, the K-pop community is grappling with the implications of the leaked internal report. This situation has reignited discussions about the treatment of artists within the industry and the ethical considerations that should govern how companies manage their idols, public personas, and private lives. The leaked document has not only caused outrage among fans, but has also raised critical questions about transparency and accountability within the K-pop industry. Many fans are increasingly skeptical of the strategies employed by entertainment companies, especially when they appear to exploit personal relationships and dating rumors for public relations gains. This sentiment reflects a growing desire for a more ethical approach to idol management one that prioritizes artists' well-being over profit. Social media platforms have become the battleground for these discussions, with fans actively voicing their opinions and demanding change. The hashtag Protect Taehyung has been trending as fans rally around Taehyung, urging Hybe to respect his privacy and treat him with the dignity he deserves. This outpouring of support highlights the strong bond between idols and their fans, as well as the profound sense of responsibility that comes with being a public figure in today's digital age. In a broader context, this incident sheds light on the power dynamics within the K-pop industry, where idols often find themselves at the mercy of their agency's decisions. Fans are increasingly recognizing that the emotional and mental health of artists should be a priority, advocating for an industry standard that allows idols to express their personal lives without fear of repercussion. The push for this change is more than just a reaction to a single incident. It represents a collective call for a cultural shift in how K-pop idols are perceived and treated. Moreover, 
this situation is not isolated to BTS or Hybe. It reflects a larger trend within the industry, where dating rumors often lead to sensationalism and invasive scrutiny. The pressure on idols to maintain a perfect public image can be overwhelming, leading to negative mental health outcomes and stifling their personal growth. Fans are increasingly vocal about the need for a more supportive environment that acknowledges idols as multifaceted individuals rather than just entertainers. As the backlash continues, it remains to be seen how Hybe will respond to the demands for accountability. The company has expressed that the report was a mere internal analysis and not reflective of its official stance, but this explanation has not satisfied many in the community. Fans are calling for concrete actions, such as public apologies and policy changes, that ensure idols' rights to their personal lives are respected. The leaked report and its subsequent fallout serve as a reminder of the complexities involved in the K-pop industry. While fans are passionate about their favorite idols, the line between fandom and exploitation can easily blur. The K-pop community must grapple with these issues and strive for a future where artists are treated with respect and compassion, free from the constraints of corporate agendas. In the end, this controversy may pave the way for much-needed conversations about the treatment of artists within the K-pop industry. It has sparked a renewed commitment among fans to advocate for their idols' rights and well-being, emphasizing that personal lives should be just that, personal. The K-pop industry is at a crossroads, and how it chooses to navigate these challenges will shape the landscape for generations of idols to come. As we continue to follow this story, it's clear that fans play a crucial role in holding entertainment companies accountable. Their collective voice has the power to affect change and push for an industry that values the humanity of its artists. In this evolving landscape, the need for respect and understanding within the K-pop community is more critical than ever.